What is good? Good morning and welcome to another video. Today, we have a very exciting one. A life hack, if you may. Today is something that I found out about a month ago and I was a little skeptical about, but I had to try it for myself. It turns out my skepticism was for nothing because this actually works and it's so cheap. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that my last kind of series was I was trying to document my experience with Crest White Strips, but that series never got finished because about a quarter of the way through the treatment, I actually started running into some like intense like discomfort and irritation in my gums from the Crest White Strips. And it turns out that I'm not the only person that had this kind of experience with Crest White Strips. I actually read on the internet a lot of people have had similar experiences with it. So anyways, that led me on a pursuit to find uh, teeth whitening solution at home without having to go to a dentist or anything like that that is better catered to kind of more sensitive gums and sensitive teeth because that's me I'm that target demo like my teeth are extremely sensitive and my gums are extremely sensitive and they have been for a long time now so I had to find something that's a little more sensitive on my teeth and that quest led me to this guy now this isn't just meant for whitening teeth. Hydrogen peroxide is something that you just kind of have always had it, like under your bathroom sink or in your drug cabinet or whatever. And it has so many uses. It's not just for whitening teeth. However, it does do that amazingly. And if at all you are interested in learning about some of the other ways that I use hydrogen peroxide kind of in my day to day, let me know by leaving a like on this video. If we hit 30 likes, I'll do a little video on some of the other uses of hydrogen peroxide because this truly is like a magic potion. It has so many uses and it's so valuable. And if you don't have it in your house, it's 100 million percent something that you should at least have in your house. But that is not what we're talking about today. Today, we are, oh my God, this chair is so squeaky. But that is not what we are talking about today. Today, we are focusing on the teeth whitening capabilities of hydrogen peroxide. And actually, if you look at your ingredients on your Crest white strips or whatever whitening strips that you use, hydrogen peroxide is that active ingredient. So you're kind of taking out everything else from that recipe except for the hydrogen peroxide and going straight to the source and getting nothing but that good good. But because there are so many uses for hydrogen peroxide, I'm actually pretty much completely out of it. So I need to go to the store and get some more, but I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to take you along with me. I'm gonna go to Walmart personally you can get this in pretty much anywhere that has a pharmacy, um, but Walmart seems to be the cheapest place for this and it's literally the exact same thing no matter where you go. So I'm gonna go to Walmart. I'm gonna show you a quick run through um, of how to find this in Walmart. So if you're planning on heading to the store right after this video, hopefully this will help you out a little bit and kind of make that process a little quick. Anyways, without any further ado, let's ball out to Walmart. Okay, now we are ready to do science. So the proportions, on the internet it says use a two to one water ratio. However, I don't think that's concentrated enough. So I like to do a one to one. You don't actually need too much. So one part hydrogen peroxide, if you can see that that much, to one equal part to one equal, maybe it's a little bit more, that's okay. Try to get it as close to one part water to one part hydrogen peroxide as possible. Obviously the higher ratio hydrogen peroxide to water there is, the more concentrated it's gonna be, therefore the most effective it's gonna be. However, you don't wanna do this too much because like I said, this is basically a bleaching agent and it can cause some irritation. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you dilute it properly. Now, normal people who don't have super sensitive teeth the most direct way of doing it is to take your toothbrush and just kind of rinse your toothbrush around and then brush your teeth with it. However, sensitive gang and sensitive gang means that we're just going to swish it around. Now the swish definitely still works. It just isn't as direct, obviously, as brushing on your teeth. But if you have sensitive teeth and gums like me, not a problem. 
stick to the swish. Okay, so this is definitely the least complex part of the entire process. And if you've ever swished mouthwash before, it's exactly the same. I like to put it in there, make sure I get it all around there for about 30 seconds, have a nice big gargle at the end, spit it out and do it again. Now, if you're gonna brush your teeth with it, super simple, just kind of soak that toothbrush in there and just now I always like to do this right after I brush my teeth, it just is like the nicest, freshest way to kind of end the day. And like I said, I wouldn't do this every single day, it might cause some irritation. This is a chemical, it's a very mild chemical, uh, and especially the percentage that we're using, it's probably not going to like destroy you, but just personally, I like to do this like every other day, not kind of do it more than a, a few times a week. But yeah, without any further ado, cheers to white teeth. Round two. Oh! Just like that, we're done. So you wanna make sure that it gets nice and foamy. If it's not getting foamy enough, your concentration uh, of hydrogen peroxide to water is probably too low. You probably have too much water in there. So just add a little bit more hydrogen peroxide. Um, it's, it's normal if it burns just a little bit. Just remember that this is like a chemical, so it is burning a lot of bacteria in your mouth. I mean, it's a very mild chemical, and especially at like the percentage that we're getting it at, um, it's probably not gonna do too much harm, but it does burn or it can burn just a little bit and uh yeah looking pretty fresh you're probably not going to notice it right off the bat like it's not going to like whiten your teeth after one use but if you use this pretty consistently for a couple weeks you're probably going to start to notice a bit of a difference or at least i did so feel free to create kind of like a, a little plan for yourself maybe a little schedule of this like maybe once every other day or whatever that's kind of what i like to do for a couple weeks so yeah that's that's it that's it for the video it's super super simple um if this video helped you out in any way at all please let me know by leaving a like it helps me out more than you can imagine just internally really it doesn't really do anything than just make me feel good and uh yeah if we hit 30 likes i will do another video kind of going over some of the other uses that i have of this magical potion it's amazing you should definitely have it if you don't have it yet. And uh, until then, keep it classy and enjoy the internet.